here we are in part two. We've got the distributor out, we've got the coil out, and we've got the HT leads out. So we're ready to now start putting in the new components. We're going to fit the new power coil here on the fan shroud. And because I've got one hand, I'm just going to hang it on one bolt for now and then sneak the second bolt in afterwards. And there we go, there's our coil mounted. Now we need to look at wiring it up correctly because this is where we can blow our coil and get into trouble, expensive trouble. So we look at our little wiring diagram here and what this shows us is that the negative terminals, there are three, are at the top of the coil tapering up and the positive terminals are just below it. So what we've got here is out the front is our three terminals for the negative side and our three terminals back here are our positive side. So we can take our positive cables and connect them up. And we've got a short earth cable, which I'm gonna to have to lengthen, but it will sit out here on the negative side of the coil. And of course, don't forget your HT lead, which is gonna come down to your distributor, which we'll install now and make sure it clicks into place. Right, so we've extended our earth cable here down from the battery and connected it up to our negative terminals, which are here on the tapered edge of the coil. I can't stress that enough and our positive cables are all connected up as well. So now we can go ahead and install our new aluminium distributor clamp, and then we can put in our new electronic distributor module. Now I've just noticed that this distributor clamp comes with a longer engine stud to accommodate the fact that it's much thicker than the original clamp. So what we've got to do I've put a couple of nuts on here, we're going to tighten them up, we're going to remove this little stud and then we're going to wind in the new stud as well. So first we just clamp the bottom nut and tighten the top nut against it and now we're going to loosen the lower nut with any luck. Gently. So we've undone our lock nuts now, we can take those out of the way. So now we have our new extended stud which is going to fit our clamp very nicely with plenty of thread for the nut. So now the instructions are to install the distributor into the engine. Of course we're sitting at cylinder, our know, top dead center for cylinder number one. So now with our clamp slightly loose and our distributor cap off, we're going to install our new distributor we have the cap off so we can see our rotor tip and ensure that it's lined up with cylinder number one. And there it goes. 
They're now locked in. And it really comes down to setting up the distributor cap now, setting up our spark plug leads, running to the correct cylinders. And then in the next video, we're gonna look at timing the engine as well. So now we're gonna place our distributor cap on. So now that we've got the electronic distributor installed, we're ready to go ahead and put the spark plug cables on in the correct order. Now, a few things to note is obviously we set the engine up at cylinder number one, top dead center, before we put the distributor in. So what I've done is I've traced the cylinder number one HT lead from the right hand side flywall side here and attach that here where cylinder number one was lining up with the rotor. And I've also drawn a small diagram here of the distributor firing order. So we've got cylinder number one already set up. So now we can see it spins clockwise and in the order of one, four, three, two. So we can go ahead now and this one is going to be cylinder number four. So according to our map, that is our cylinder on the left at the front here. Next one is going to be number three from the same side of the engine. So it's just gonna be the other spark plug wire that came from that side. Double check it. And then of course number two, and we're gonna check that that is the front right hand side here. Go ahead and connect our coil up as well to the distributor. And then we can just go through and double check that all of our HT leads are in the right place and we have the correct firing order. So we've checked that the firing order and everything's correct. So the next thing we need to do is we're gonna leave the distributor slightly loose so that we can set the timing. We're going to set up the timing, the base timing that is, uh, more or less just by ear today, but I promise that we will be doing a more in-depth uh, video on how to tune one of these engines using a timing light. But stick around and that video will be coming out soon. So for now, let's go and turn the engine over and see if it'll run.